Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going away about an hour and a half outside Cape Town until Wednesday and then we'll head back. Thankfully we can both work remotely. It is a nice little staycation-y, um, digital nomad -y type of few days. Please excuse this thing on my lip. It was a cold sore and then I messed with it and now it's just a sore. So ignore that. Let's go. Good morning. Um, we've come to a farm called Sirensburg. Let me turn this thing around. This is insane. So we've come here to work. So we've changed locations. Um, the place we were at just before this, they didn't really have food. So we just had a cheese plate and then decided to come to a restaurant just up the road at Tilbach Hotel. Um, so we're gonna work here for a bit and then we both have meetings in the afternoon. So we've just asked the host for an extra room um, to do the meetings in because we obviously can't both be on at the same time. But for now, we're gonna eat and probably pizza all round. Pizza? Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting salad. If I get a pizza and Vaughn gets salad, that's gonna be a real record of a day, for sure. <laughs> Hi guys, it is after four in the afternoon, that is a duck I think that you can hear, so that's our balcony and then let me turn you around, oh I've still got my glasses on, those are just blue light glasses with a little bit of a helping hand on the one eye, just a sec. Okay so as you walk in there's this little dining table that is currently my workspace, there's the door which I'm going to close because they are having a bee problem I need to get the bees uh, moved to a different spot so you come into the dining table there's a little kitchen our groceries on the side um, I've just got dishes in the sink that I'm about to wash out here is a gorgeous mountain view 
and super old windows which are so cute um, little stove top thing bathroom with swimming costumes because are you even on holiday if you don't have your swimming costumes hanging up this little bathroom vanity which sadly does not stay closed and then out this window I'm gonna sit you down right next to the toilet one sec if you look let me see if I can zoom in uh, where are they I think it might be covered a little now I can see them with my eyes but I can't see them on the camera there we go there's the beehive it's pretty crazy so that's in the bathroom and then this is the bedroom side beautiful bath clawfoot gorgeous little day bed nice art owl bed and a mosquito net because oh my gosh the mozzie's here I'll tell you about that in a bit then there's a dressing table beautiful old cupboard and out this window that's the reception of the place we're staying at and there's a nice little garden down there which actually I think belongs to the owner obviously everything does but I mean that's where he lives so that is the reception that actually if you go through you'll land up on the main road there's only like two main roads this is one of them and then the one next to so basically the first night did not go swimmingly <laughs> when we got here there was no power and we didn't bring anything for mosquitoes except for like a repellent thing stick that you put on and I'm allergic to that so I had to like choose between itching from that or itching from mosquitoes and the mosquitoes were leaving like huge bites on my legs so we put that on but then they were also like Vaughn and I literally put it all in here they were still buzzing around our ears and then on top of that with the bee problem everything was closed up it was cooking hot I think it was like 33 degrees um, in the early evening and the bees managed to come in under the door so now we've done this to try stop them from coming in um, but we were literally pacing the whole time until we found that mosquito net which was behind the bed I don't know why but once we put that up then we felt a bit better the only thing is that it like keeps the heat in so then the aircon didn't really help that much oh and also there's like there's no curtains on the kitchen window and the curtains those aren't block out so even just with the street lights it was very bright so then we decided to try and like make curtains out of towels that we could find we used cushions as well I think we eventually went to bed after midnight and we got here at about 8 30 so from 8 30 until midnight we were trying to figure out like the bug situation the light situation uh, there was no hot water so I ran a bath and the water was lukewarm so I had a lukewarm bath and then this morning the water was cold in the shower so once we went over to reception um, we told him and I still it doesn't seem too back I still can't get hot water so yeah it's been a little bit disappointing I guess considering it's like a boutique hotel sort of setup but it's also been so nice to get away and working this morning at that farm was just like perfect absolutely loved it lunch was smashing loved it um, I've managed to get quite a lot of work done today in a different surrounding so I'm still glad we went away I do just wish that the accommodation was more on par with what I had thought it would be which to me is like a fair enough complaint like <laughs> how it's listed is how I expected especially because there were a few reviews saying there was no hot water and I thought maybe it was just like it was like very close to each other and I think it was like three months ago so I thought like maybe they were just having a problem then but here we are three months down the line there's no hot water what is happening so for now I am going to carry on working for a bit and then I will take you around where the swimming pool is it's like actually at that building across the road there's a swimming pool there is 
the viewing deck that I filmed a little bit earlier. There's like a fireplace and chill space. It's so beautiful up there, all like tropical plants. And once Vaughn finishes work at seven, then we're gonna go for a swim because the power will be off until eight. And then we'll figure out dinner and then hopefully get an early night and an early start tomorrow so that we can do some exploring in between. Like if we start working early, we can explore and then work again. Yeah, that's that. Tuesday today so our second last day here um, we'll check out tomorrow so we won't be around for that much of the day then so we're back at the same place we were at yesterday to work because we know that they have food during load shedding so we decided it was an easy call just to come here and have breakfast and then we are fed while there's no power <laughs> I decided to take a little solo adventure because I've been watching a lot of Mark Ferris's solo travel vlogs and I was getting so much anxiety about like coming to places on my own and like sitting on my own and I don't know why because I have no problem doing that in Cape Town um, but I normally have my laptop or something this time I just brought my Kindle and the place that I've come to it didn't say anything on Google but when I pulled in the um, board said bookings only and it doesn't look like there's anyone here but I'm gonna try anyway let me show you what my view currently is it is gorgeous let me run in before someone thinks I'm a creep it I walked in and I don't know why I was so anxious I don't know like maybe I just had too much caffeine today or something I don't know but I had basically like rehearsed my lines of what I was gonna say so I walked in and I was like hi I know that you um, say at the gate like you only take bookings but I was just wondering if I could maybe come and have like let me just get this away from my hair. I was just wondering if I could maybe have like something to drink um, and just sit here and read for a bit. And the guy was like, probably first of all, like, why are you talking so much? And then he, of course, was really nice and said, yeah, yeah, choose a table. It's fine. Don't worry. And I sat and I read 
and I enjoyed the view and I had some time just like hanging out with myself um I brought my kindle instead of my book book so I was reading the perfect marriage I think is what I have on the kindle um and the story got really good just as I was about to leave but now I am chilling at this amazing spot on the farm so those buildings there that's the restaurant that I was at and this is like a picnic spot of theirs there is a sign though saying be careful of snakes and the snakes that they say be careful of are deadly so I am also keeping an eye out for that if you see me looking around constantly it's because <laughs> I honestly wouldn't even know what to do if there was a snake I think probably scream really loud and run but yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the quiet for a few minutes. And then I'm going to head back for once you be done with his meetings in about 15. And it's like a five minute drive. So I'm going to just chill, watch the ducks dive into the water a bit. And then take the drive back, which by the way is mostly dirt road. I tried to film some of it. I'll do a time lapse. But the, <laughs> the camera was so shaky. It would have given you motion sickness. It was not going to be... A good idea but I'll try my best I'm gonna head back I can't tell if you saw it wait before I do that let me turn the camera around when I got to the edge of the water I noticed something I hadn't seen before. Before I go, I just want to show you this. So if you look across, there is another farm there. And I'm really curious to know what that is. I'm going to try to see on Google Maps when I go past. Anyway, I'm heading back. It is so beautiful here. And I was so tempted to book for Vaughn and I to come again tomorrow but this is the trouble of when we travel we tend to go back to the same places that we know we like instead of using the opportunity to try a different place every day <laughs> I think change is difficult for most people and then with ADHD it just like doubles that so I'll chat to him. Let me just get in and then I'll finish talking. Okay, I think I might be outside someone's house. So I don't want to talk too loud out there. But I'm going to show him the video. I'm going to ask him if he wants to come look and we can see. Let me try and get some time lapse of the drive without my phone bouncing into the ether. Mm -hmm. 